So after the pre-chorus, obviously it follows the chorus. So it goes like this. I'll give you a preview before we learn it. It goes like this. Just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn it. You can see this first inversion chord in the um, chorus. Okay, so let's go ahead and start learning it. So it starts on G up here, middle C, C, G is the high G. Okay, so it goes G, G, F, and then up to the high D, and then G, F, up to the high D again, G, F, and then down here to the B flat, and up to the E flat, and two more E flats, two Ds, two E flats. Two Ds, two Cs. And that's the first part of the chorus. Let's do it again. So it goes G, G, F up to the high D, G, F, high D, G, F. E, F B flat, E flat, and two E flats. Two Ds, two E flats, two Ds, two Cs. Just like that. Remember that. For the right hand, okay? The left hand, as you can see before, this is the one with the first inversion chord at the end, which is G minor, E flat major, B flat major, and the first inversion F major, okay? So remember that. Okay, with that in mind, let's put the turns together. Uh, it goes like this, okay? So it goes right hand starts first, the high D and G minor chord together, after F, E flat major chord by itself, E flat, B major chord, B flat major chord together by a bit by itself. I mean, and then after the two C's, first inversion chord by itself, like that. Okay, one more time. This the first part of the chorus. So once again, it goes together. So that's the first part of the chorus, okay? And then very amazingly, the second part of the chorus is actually exactly the same as the first part. So that's pretty awesome, right? So pretty much it's repeating the first part for twice, okay? But okay, anyway, this is the second part exactly the same as the first part. So once again, let's go. second part because you already know the second part is the same as the first part the third part it's really easy it just repeats that I love the way you lie which is right hand it goes B flat E flat D D and then two B flats and after the B flat G minor chord by itself and the E flat major by itself repeat that last line again B flat E flat D D B flat B flat and after B flat B flat major chord by itself of that F major chord by itself, like that. It's kind of like a chorus response thing, so the chords is always in between, okay? So let's do this third and last part of this chorus one more time. So it goes B flat, E flat, D, D, B flat, B flat, and after that, G minor chord by itself, two, three, four, and E flat major. The line comes in, B flat, E flat, D, D, B flat, B flat, and B flat major chord, and F major chord, just like that. Okay, just like that. And okay, one more time for the third part with the proper rhythm. So it's like here, two, three, four, here, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Just like that. So that's the chorus. Okay, now after the chorus, it goes to verse. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.